Investing in real gold versus investing in SGBs, which is better and why? By the end of this video, we will get answers to these 5 questions. What is the expected return of investing in real gold versus investing in SGB and which is higher? How taxation on SGB changed after the budget announcement? There are over 63 SGBs trading in the stock market, some of which are available at a premium with respect to real gold and some of which are available at a discount. How to select the right SGB at a reasonable price? Despite the benefits of investing in SGBs, why people still prefer to buy physical gold? Finally, how to know your preferred method of investing in gold, SGB or physical gold? And is it the right time to buy SGBs? Let's find out in this video. Please watch this video till the end. It has lot of useful information about gold investing. Firstly, why invest in physical gold? Is it an attractive investment option? Okay. Here are some strong reasons why gold should be a part of your long term investment portfolio. The chart here shows the nifty and gold CAGR returns in 1, 3, 7, 10 and 15 years. We can see that gold has given equal returns as nifty in the mid to long term. Second is only in the short term and about 10 years nifty has generated significantly higher returns than gold. Otherwise it is just a difference of 1 or 2 percentage. And second is the value of gold will always appreciate with time because of limited resources. Which means there is no infinite supply of gold like the fiat currency which is US dollar or Indian rupee or Japanese yen. Because of this reason we can can see that the Indian rupee is depreciating by 15 percentage for every 5 or 6 years and this rate is only going to accelerate in the future. And the next important point is that gold is less volatile compared to nifty. Just for example during the covid crash nifty fell by almost 40 percent whereas gold prices fell by only 14 or 15 percentage and it recovered much faster than nifty. So it is acting like a hedge with respect to equity portfolio. And this is the reason experts usually advise to have 15 or 20 percentage allocation of our capital in gold. But when it comes to gold as an investment option, we all prefer to buy physical gold, isn't it? And almost 90 percent of us only know one method of investing in gold. That is go to any shop like Tanushk or Kalyan Jewelers or any retailer to buy some kind of physical gold, either in terms of gold coins, gold bars or in terms of jewelry. But is it giving you the best return of investment? Investment. Well, not really. There are three other methods of investing in gold and one such option is sovereign gold bonds which is called by SGB. We are in the RBI webpage and there is a dedicated page for sovereign gold bonds. We can see that these bonds are government securities issued by Reserve Bank of India on behalf of Indian government. So these are just bonds and do not represent any form of physical gold and even at the time of maturity the amount will be credited in terms of rupees and not in terms of physical gold. And the major advantage of buying SDB over physical gold is that it has got no making charges and GST. If we just check the Tanish website and if we check the value of 100 grams of gold we can see that there is a making charges of 36,800 for 7.3 lakh worth of gold which is about 5 percentage of our investment amount and also it has got GST charges which is applicable to both the purchase of the gold and the making charges. So there is an additional investment of 60,000 rupees for which we are not getting any equivalent grams of gold. But in SGB investment these two options are eliminated. SGB is free from issues like making charges and the purity is as close as 99.9 percentage. And unless the price of the gold is always appreciating there is no risk of investment. And the units of gold purchased as SGBs that is the grams of gold remains the same throughout the investment duration. Minimum investment in this gold is 1 gram and a maximum limit per person is 4 kg in one financial year. So government is raising capital by issuing these gold bonds by attracting investors to deposit their money and in return government pays back to these investors in the form of interest for these bonds at a fixed rate of 2.5 percentage. We can see that the bonds bear interest rate of 2.5 percentage per annum on the amount of initial investment. So for every investment you make you get a 2.5 percentage interest on the issue price of the bond semi annually twice every year. We can see at the time of redemption the gold bonds is redeemed in Indian rupees and the average price of the bond is chosen to be 99.9 percentage 
percentage purity of the gold over the last three business days. So these bonds have a tenure of eight years, but it can be redeemed to the government after five years. And the next is premature redemption of the bond is allowed. Though the tenure of the bond is eight years, early encashment or redemption of the bond is allowed after fifth year from the date of issue. And most importantly, the bond is tradable on stock exchanges. So it is easy to buy and sell using your DMAT account, either Grow or Zeroda. And sometimes gold is often purchased for gifting purposes. Luckily, this form of gold that is SDB is also possible for gifting purpose like any other stock. Like how one person can gift a HDFC bank or Reliant share to some other person during some occasion. It is also possible for a person to gift the SDB shares. And these bonds can also be used as collateral for loans like in Manapuram or Muthur Finance. It is like any form of physical gold. Sovereign gold bonds are also accepted with same interest rate as mentioned here. And the one biggest reason why we should be investing in SDB is because of tax benefits in long term capital gains which we'll be discussing soon in the video. So there are over 37 points listed in this website. I'll attach this link in the description below and this one page itself is sufficient to answer to all your necessary questions. But there is more to discuss about SDB which is not mentioned in this website. Here is the calculation sheet to compare the returns of investing in SGB versus real gold. Here I have taken the example of SGB which will be maturing at the year of November 2029, issued at a price point of 4761 on 10th November 2021. For this example, I have considered an investment amount of 10 lakhs for both these cases. We can see that there are two methods of selling the SGB. One is through the secondary market and the second is through redemption by RBI or at the time of maturity. Unlike the real gold, we can see that there is an interest rate component for the SGB which is 2.5 percentage of the issue price. So for this SGB, when you are investing 1 gram of gold, we can get an interest of 119 for 1 year. So for the total invested amount, we get 135.59 grams of gold and for a duration of 6 years, we can get a total interest of 96,000. At the time of shooting this video, the price of SGB is 7375 and this price is continuous considered for the total amount of gold received for this investment which is in grams. We can see that even though the current price of SGB is around 200 rupees higher than the real price of gold, we are getting more units of gold when you are investing through the SGB method. This is because when you are investing in physical gold, we are paying for the GST charges to the government and also making charges to the retailer which significantly reduces our investment amount to 9.2 lakh and that is the reason the equivalent grams of gold we obtain through the physical gold investment is lower than the SGB. As per our previous discussion, I have considered a CAGR returns of 13 years for a duration of 6 years for both these cases. So when we try to compute the net investment value after 6 years for both these cases, for case 1 when we are selling through the secondary market, we get close to 12.85 CAGR returns. For calculating the returns through the stock market method, I have considered a discount of 500 rupees at the time of selling for the SGB price with respect to physical gold. In another 2 to 3 minutes we will understand the reason behind this by checking the NSE website. And when we try to calculate the future value of investment through option B that is at the time of maturity, we get 13.46 percentage return over 6 years which is 1 percentage higher than physical gold investment. Ok, the next step is to calculate the returns after tax. So there are two taxes applicable for SGB. One is the tax on the interest component and the second is the tax on the long term capital gains. The tax on the interest rate component is charged at the marginal tax lab that is as per your tax lab rate. Here I have considered it as 30 percentage for this example. So for your accumulated interest of 96,000 over 6 years, we will be paying a net tax of 29,000. Second, the long term capital gain tax. Here is where the magic happens. So the tax rule states that if you are selling the SDB in the secondary market, it will be subjected to a long term capital gain tax of 12.5 percentage. This value was previously 10 percentage and in the recent budget it is revised to 12.5 percentage for a profit over and above 1.25 lakh. But if the bond is redeemed by RBI or at the time of maturity, it is not subjected to any long term capital gain tax. The 12.5 percentage is reduced to 0 percentage. It is important to note that the SDB can be redeemed by RBI after 5 years in a tenure of 8 year duration.
calculation so after 5 years if the bond is directly redeemed by rbi or if you are holding the bond till maturity then you will be subjected to zero percentage tax on your long term capital gains that is the reason there is a huge difference between the net returns after cagr in kca and case b method coming back to our investment through physical gold method we can see that the interest rate is zero percentage here and the real gold does not carry any interest rate component and the long term capital gain tax is fixed at 12.5 percentage so the net cagr turns around to be 11.35 percentage so we can clearly see that the method of investing in gold through sgb can generate up to 3 lakh of additional returns compared to physical gold investment this is mainly because of three reasons one is the additional interest rate component and second is no gst and making charges on the purchase of gold and third is tax exemption on long term capital gains these three benefits add up significantly to the net investment value of gold which can generate higher returns for our investment we are in the nsc website and under sgb section we can see that there are over 63 sgbs listed in the stock market with each sgb has its own unique maturity date and a unique issue price for example this sgb will be maturing on february 2032 so there are three main observations we can see that the price of the sgb which will be maturing 5 to 7 years from now or trading at a premium premium with respect to physical gold here i refer physical gold as 24 carat gold with 99.9 purity these differences can be as high as 500 to 700 rupees which is very huge but there is a reason behind this we can realize that the premium amount is actually the sum of the interest paid by the sgb over the duration till its maturity period so for the case of this sgb which got listed in this february 2024 has over 7.5 years of interest rate pending with it so the second inference is that we can see that the sgb which will be maturing in this year november 2024 is almost trading at a price closer to the value of physical gold we can check this by switching to the trading view platform this is the chart of gold futures and the present value of gold is around 7140 so we can see that the sgb is almost trading at a similar value with respect to the physical gold and the third inference is that the trading volume is very low for the sgbs which will be maturing within a year or less than 2 years we can see that there is absolutely no trading volume for sgbs maturing in 25 24 and 26 and it is higher for sgbs which will be maturing 5 or 6 years from now so if you are planning to invest in sgb for the next 6 years finding the lowest price of sgb is important as discussed in our previous exam we can see that sgb nv29 is trading at a reasonable value with respect to actual gold and also will be maturing 5 years from now and that is the reason i have selected this sgb for our example so for your investment duration out of this 63 sgbs you can select a sgb at a reasonable price by checking the ltp and volume option and by checking the sgb value which is trading closer to the actual value of gold but we can see that despite the benefits of investing in sgb the demand for actual gold that is physical gold is much higher in our country this i believe is because of these four reasons owning physical gold offers a sense of security and control and it is considered as a tangible asset something we can touch and feel whereas sgb on the other hand is just a bond it is available in our dmat as a digital format even though it is completely safe people consider real gold to be more secure but it depends second liquidity risk previously we saw that for the sgbs which will be maturing in next one or two years the trading volumes are very less suppose if you are in need of immediate cash you may not be able to sell your sgb in the stock market but not the case with physical gold you can always walk to a nearby store and exchange the value of gold with rupees and the third is it is the main difference i would say sgb is actually not a gold investment it is just tracking the value of gold at the end of 8 years government will redeem the bonds and convert the value of gold to fiat currency and return it to your bank account but it will not return the value of investment as a physical gold format owning physical gold is always superior than owning a bond which is tracking the value of gold 
as we discussed earlier at the moment when the sgb is converted to fiat currency its value starts to depreciate but you can hold on to physical gold as long as you want and its value will be always appreciating and lastly the risk in capital gains do you remember what happened when the government in the recent budget reduced the custom value of gold from 15 percentage to 6 percentage the price of gold fell drastically now think about the investors of sgb whose funds will be mature during in the next to one or two months because the gold price fell sharply their potential returns was impacted and this is a volatility induced by our government but i don't think this should be a problem going forward we can see that in the graph the government in the past has kept on increasing the customs duty of the gold from 2 to 15 percentage and now it has reduced from 15 to 6 percentage so maximum what could happen is that the customs duty can be reduced to 4 percentage or 2 percentage which will not create a major impact in the price of gold you can remember this equation and it will hold true for sgbs if the customs duty is reduced the price of the gold will be reduced and the sgbs will be available at a premium with respect to actual gold so investing in sgbs is not considered as an attractive gold investing option but as we discussed previously in our calculation sheet even though we considered the price of the sgb to be higher than the actual value of gold we ended up with a higher cagr returns for a investment period of 6 years and that is the reason i say that investing in sgb can generate higher returns than investing in physical gold and in the future when the customs duty of gold is increased this will increase the gold gold price but then the sgbs will be available at a discount with respect to actual gold this makes sgb as an attractive investment option i will link some related youtube videos regarding this topic where people have spoken that the sgbs are trading at a discount with respect to physical gold as high as 15 or 16 percentage this is when the customs duty was very high that is at 15 percentage before the budget so far if you are liking this video please give it a thumbs up so that youtube algorithm will recognize this and promote this video to many people as much as possible this is a kind request from me and a small support to help grow my channel so here are my final thoughts about investing in physical gold versus sgb if you are planning to invest a significant capital more than 1 lakh and planning to hold the investment for more than 3 years then sgb will give more roi than any other form of gold investing and if you want to consider this as a pure form of investment then sgb is the best option in the past sgbs were trading at a discount with respect to actual value of gold but after the budget decision to reduce the customs duty from 15 to 6 percentage all the sgbs are trading at a premium valuation but still from our calculation sheet we can see that the roi for sgb is higher than actual gold this is because of the three key reasons we discussed earlier additional interest rate no making charges on gst and no tax on long term capital gains and just to touch up on the two more options of gold investing which are digital gold and gold etfs digital gold is not regulated in india so it is not advisable but the next best method of investing in gold is through gold etfs if not for three additional benefits like sgb it has one additional benefit against investing in actual gold no gst and making charges but still a small percentage of investment goes to the expense ratio of the fund which is lower in case of etfs and somewhat higher in case of gold mutual funds but this is the second best method of investing in gold because at the time of maturity it also attracts the long term capital gain tax okay i'll make a separate video about comparing these four options of gold investing and also discuss their respective tax implications in a separate video thank you so much for watching please hit the like button and comment your thoughts about sgb see you soon in the next video until then